Good everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tupi Crypto here. Now, XRP is seeing a little bit of a sell-off, but in my opinion, getting ready for a next pretty big rally. Why? Well, we have some interesting stuff for the SEC, as well as John Deaton giving his view on why he believes XRP will absolutely dominate against the SEC. All of that in this video. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of XRP, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this content, smash a like so I know you like it and I'll keep putting out XRP content every single day. With that being said, though, let's take a quick look at the market. 1.42 trillion, 1.43. Now we're just starting a little bit of a sell-off here in the UK, but look at XRP just under that $2 billion. Now that is down on the day before. The day before, we we were seeing significant rallies in the market, but currently trading around that 66.44 level, which is slightly down on where we were. But in my opinion, I talked about this on my live stream, it is a sentiment of consolidation before the next rally. However, you look at XRP, it is still right now in a potential court case, albeit we are expecting the potential settlement to come any time soon. So what have we got in terms of key dates? Now, this is very interesting. The number that's been thrown around $150 million is what Ripple have basically had to outlay against the SEC and what they feel is a complete nonsensical court case. It says here, following court case victory by Ripple against the United States Securities and Exchange, Commission in which Judge Annalisa Torres declared the retail sales of XRP did not constitute security sales. The parties have submitted to have her agreed upon schedule for settlement discussions. Indeed, the blockchain companies agreed that securities regulator proposed schedule of 90 days. The court remedies related discovery as long as it limits the discovery to the period before the lawsuit, according to the court documents shared by defense attorney James K. File. And we looked at them the other day, ultimately walking through what that looks like, how many days they get to agree, when does the kind of appeal come in against those, and what it all boils down to, and this this reason this settlement is so important, because it could truly change the face of cryptocurrency, particularly if Ripple were to come out in a favor. We have to see what happens on the back of it. Obviously, the SEC came out and asked for $770 million, but Ripple wants to drastically reduce the fine. Therefore, how much of the blockchain company would actually pay will depend on the outcome of the settlement negotiations and the final court decisions. John Deaton ultimately shared his opinion and where he talks about Ripple paying $20 million. It would be a 99.9% .9 legal victory if that was the case. So, you know, clearly John Deaton, very bullish on XRP and obviously expecting a decent move on the back of it. Now, also what we get is what Deaton says specifically about XRP. He says, to people surprised, back then I owed 10x more BTC than XRP and 3 to 4x more Ethereum than XRP. Today, I still own more in BTC than XRP, but I now own significantly more XRP than I do Ethereum. And a lot of people even anticipating that XRP could flip Ethereum. But what has Deaton ultimately said? He says, I did exactly what you're not supposed to do when investing. I bet my heart. I more I fought the SEC. The more I bought XRP, I became convinced that that we would win in court. Plus, I feel like it was betting on myself along with my 75,000 friends. And since we are going again, the bad guys, we would win Deaton stated. So ultimately, he is incredibly bullish on these cross-border payments. Now, I talk about the XRP ledger and why it's so important. And ultimately, John Deaton follows that sentiment by saying, clearly, cross-border payments is a massive market, with the Forex market being the largest financial market in the world. In some, I think XRP will be around for a long time and will appreciate in value considerably by capturing a piece of the overall market share. So ultimately, his view is, as it builds out, and this is why these partnerships with Metaco are so important that are linked back into HSBC, as well as building out in Dubai in their financial sector because those that are in first generally do better. And I think this ultimately is where it gets to with XRP that they are continuing to build partnerships out everybody is becoming more and more bullish in terms of what might come on the back of it. So what's going on with the price of XRP? Well, currently we saw that sell-off on the market. Everything else seemed to hold up pretty well. Bitcoin around 37.2, but we are starting to see a reversal right now. We're starting to see this trend come up off this 50-day EMA, starting to push back up. Now, what we do want to see is the red line here. This is the 20-day EMA. We may get a slightly bearish divergence, which would be this yellow line continuing and this red line dropping below in line with this trend line here if however we see this red flip in the short term we start to see people buying and then the yellow continues up we might actually be set for a price increase up and in around the sort of 69 range maybe even at 70 now 71.42 would be a big push up local high being around 73 cents so we'll see how this all plays out but xrp in my opinion still has solid money flow coming in rsi is starting to consolidate and get back into the middle so could we be in a world where xrp truly rallies into the weekend well generally speaking our sundays have been pretty good we've seen it the last 
few weeks that Ripple has made a big move. But financial institutions are coming. John Deaton is truly in a world that XRP win and a settlement with the SEC could be around the corner. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit like on this video if you want to see more XRP content like this. And as ever, I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.